Welcome, smackers. So I'm having a new problem with my computer and other people may as well. So I want to go through and make a quick video on it. Some people are having increased frame rates again for Fortnite since the newest updates. For me, I'm hoping this is the case. If it is, I'm going to go through and post this video. And it's also good to know how to do it as well. With the times, they're always going through and increasing how Fortnite plays. And because of that, you want to keep your graphic drivers up to the newest they can be. So for me, I didn't go through and upgrade this because I know initially when this happened that their updated drivers were not working with Fortnite. So I'm hoping they're working by now and I have really no other choice. My frames are dropping so bad, it, it, it's making me not even want to play the game. And I really want to play the game, especially right now. So this is the message I'm getting here. So what I want to do is go ahead and just click if I click OK, it's going to go through and start the game. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we're just going to close out. And then I'm going to go through and show you how to update the drivers. So for me, I'm just going to go through and type my graphics card. It's an AMD RX 588 gigabyte. And I'm going to put the word drivers after. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And we're going to look for AMD's site. Here it is here. Both of these look good. Let's go to the support. And then you would choose, and this is for AMD guys. There's also Nvidia cards out. It's very similar. You just do it that way. The Adrenaline Edition 18.8.1 is a new one. You just want to download it and install it. Once it's installed, you'll have it and you'll be able to update it from within. So I already have that. So what I can do is I can go down here and this little uh, red thing here in the corner, which I just double click on that. And we're going to go to updates. And see, I'm at 18.5.1. So I know there's a newer version. So we're going to go ahead and hit check updates. Updates are available. Let's do it. Optional, yes. We'll just do express. So it says you need to exit it. That's fine. Proceed. So it's going to go through and install it. It does take some time. So we'll give it a moment. And I'm hoping this goes through and increases my frames per second on Fortnite because I've just been dipping so much. When you get this message, you just want to say yes. And what graphics drivers are is basically that's what makes your graphics for your computer. So you can have the best hardware there is and a great computer, but if a game updates and you don't have the newest software version, it could just have problems and just exactly what's going on here. So we're gonna go ahead and just choose accept and go through the installation. I'll pause it so you don't have to wait. Your time is valuable, I know. If you get this message, you just want to go through and choose install. It's just saying, you know, Windows trusts it. Of course, you want to make sure you're downloading from the correct site. Either AMD or NVIDIA is probably going to be your popular ones. It says it's almost ready. We could install this other stuff, but I don't want that. We're just going to go ahead and skip it. And we are good. So now I'm going to go through and restart my computer and try Fortnite and hopefully the frames per second are better. So you're going to want to do this all the time. Like I said, if you're running like a different computer, like say Nvidia, you could say 1080 Ti drivers, Windows 10, you would search that. Make sure it's an Nvidia site. It'll say www.nvidia.com or www.amd.com. So you want to make sure those are the sites you would go there. And then you would just do the same thing. You download the driver, driver package and then you have it. Once it's on your computer, it's usually down here. And then you can go through and just double click on it and run the update like I showed you for the AMD version. Nice. Now we got the graphics all updated. So we're good there. It's something you want to make sure you stay on top of. Now that you have this done, we're all set here. If you want to check out another video, I'll list one right here that also helps you fix frames per second. It's a really good one. So if you want to continue hanging out, check that out. And I will see you over there. Smack out.